We start with the buckle clasped closed, so we're looking at the H in front of us. These three slots are now on our right hand side. When we open up the buckle, it allows these slots to be exposed. Then we come in and actually start with the webbing going down into that first slot. We pull that webbing all the way through to the mark or the place to where we need the buckle to actually rest when it's physically on us as a system. Once we get it into that specific spot, we're going to feed the webbing back through that center slot so we can turn the buckle around, go through that center slot with the end of our webbing, making sure that we don't lose our place so I can hold the back of this with the placement that we actually have on the webbing itself. And then we can pull that through nice and snug. So as you can see, we have gone into that first slot, up through the second slot or the middle slot, and then we're gonna feed it right back through to that very first throw, that very first slot towards the clasp of the buckle. Once it's through that third and final slot, we're not done yet. If we need to resize this, because we're gonna test it at this stage, if we need to resize, we still have room to move the buckle if we need to. Once it's in the correct position and it's in your greatest position for what you're gonna be diving, we turn the buckle all the way around and we wanna get rid of this extra slack that we have. There's two options to do that. We can trim this down. Be careful of trimming because if we're moving from wetsuit to dry suit, we wanna have a little extra webbing in place to do that sizing later. So having this much extra is not a bad thing, but you could trim a couple inches off this if you wanted to. We're gonna feed this webbing now right back through that first slot, so it's gonna actually feed it over the top of the webbing that's already there and go right over the top of that webbing and pull through that final slot. So that webbing will actually end up on the back side of the buckle and laying flat versus sticking out like it was before. So with it being nice and flat, nice and secure, cleans all this up. Now we can come in with this band that we had before and I'm gonna pull this all the way around. With this band and that band can actually slide right over the top of that webbing to hold it closer together so it's sandwiched so then it can't pull apart very easily, okay? So it's a neat way to be able to add or change the position of a stainless steel buckle. Now we're gonna undo this buckle real quick. We're not gonna talk through that one too much. Push this webbing through that front slot just to undo it and take it all the way off to either weave on a knife or to change it out to a plastic buckle if you wanna save a little bit of weight on flying. On the plastic buckles, you'll notice with the plastic buckles that we use, they are same profiles, they're very low profile, same widths um, when we start using them. The difference is truly gonna be on the inside and also on the back. On the inside, you'll notice that the slots aren't as close as what they are on the stainless steel. So with this, we wanna make sure we have a little bit more webbing to go through that. And if I turn these around to the back side, I have one additional slot that I do not use for weaving the webbing through. We still use just the three slots closest to the end. This additional slot isn't needed for how we web our webbing through the actual buckles themselves. So we're gonna walk you through as far as putting on plastic buckle. Same procedure as before, nothing different. Clasp down, we have the clasp in front of us. When we open it up, we have the three slots on the right hand side. We start at the very top and push the webbing through. I'm gonna to go to the same position I had before or I'll count my H's, get to the H that I want, come in, weave through the bottom. So that next slot, it goes through the bottom. And you'll notice that I didn't hold this in place so the webbing actually shifted on me. So I want to make sure that I keep that alignment where I had it before. So now it's aligned right onto the top of that H where I had it originally then go through that final slot. Once we're through that final one, we flip the buckle around and there's still room to go right back through that slot on the back. Gets a little snug, but it still passes through with ease once you get it lined up. 
pull that nice and tight so that's nice and smooth. And then same thing as before, we have the band to hold into place as we need to. So even as we close this down, it still locks and holds into place without it coming undone. And that's how we weave different webbings onto the different buckles that we have.